My name's Mike. I'm here from the off-grid shop today to explain to you about how our off-grid kits come and explain what they all mean. It's very confusing when you look at a quote. There's all these big funny words that you've probably never heard of before. So I'll explain that today, what you're getting in the system designs and everything we supply in our kits. Now, the way I think about the way I like to design systems, I just start at the roof and work my way down. It's pretty simple. So first of all, in your quotes, normally going to be a couple of choices. We like to give people choices on solar panels. Solar panels is the biggest thing that can change price and the cost of a solar system. And I highly recommend... If you're in a situation where you can find some really good quality second-hand panels, hey, grab them. We can build your brand new kit with everything else and we can reuse those second-hand solar panels, which is sometimes better for the environment than buying new ones. So something to consider. As I said, on our quote, you'll start with the solar panels. You have a couple of different options. You'll have a cheaper option and a more high-end option. Both options we do are both really good quality panels. We don't really do cheap panels like a lot of other people do on the marketplace. Now, after the, rack, after the solar panels, we move on down to the racking. You'll see racking on there. This is how it mounts to your roof or to the ground, depending on how you want to do your racking. But we're in the kits, we supply everything to mount it to whatever structure that you want to mount it to. Now, once we've done the rack kit, we then move on down to the inverters. Now, there'll be two different types of inverters that we discuss in the system. We'll do an off-grid inverter, and this is most common in the kits and the DIY kits that you want to do. The off-grid inverter is about picking, and we normally give some choices of maybe a three, a five, an eight, and a ten, depending on what you want to do. My opinion is just get the biggest inverter that you can afford because it's one of those things the most complicated and expensive thing to add in the future. And it's one of those things I know some guys will advertise and try and do, in some companies, try and do two inverters, more reliability and things like that. What I've found in my experience in off-grid, the less is the better. So just having the one inverter and put the biggest one possible because it's one of those things, like I said, it is the most expensive and complicated thing to add in the future. Get the biggest inverter up front that you can get. Then what will happen, it'll have an AC coupled inverter, which is more of a grid tied inverter, and that depends on how many panels that you're going to put up. We like to use the FEMA and the ABB inverters in our systems because in an off-grid situation, they are the fastest reacting inverters. When the grid's available, it really doesn't matter, but off-grid, when you turn your kettle on or something electric, you want that inverter on instantly, and that's why we choose the FEMA ABB inverters. Now, the next thing down on the... On the design, when you get the design that comes for us, will be your solar regulators, your solar charge controllers. MPPTs, and MPPT, if you think about it, it's just like an automatic gearbox for your car. Make sure your solar panels are in the right gear and they perform at their best. It's that simple. It also protects your battery so it doesn't actually overcharge and make your batteries explode, which is pretty important in an off-grid situation. Now, after we've gone through that, the next thing that'll be on the quote is all the monitoring. So these colour screens here, Highly recommend every system we do, very rarely do we do them without the screen. What is optional from the systems that we design? This Cerbero here is the monitoring, it's the brains. So everything here connects to this here. All the screen is actually putting on a nice screen. Now the screen is a couple hundred dollars more expensive than not getting the screen. In my own personal opinion, connecting to the phone, getting your phone out, getting the Wi-Fi, it's a lot of fluffing about. I love just walking past, pressing the button and see what's going on. I'd highly recommend get the screen, but it is optional in the system designs. Now, the next thing what we'll do is we move on to, you'll see a lot of other things. You'll see an installation kit what the, and cables and things like that. What that actually includes is all these caravan plugs, diffusers, all the battery cables, everything to make it all connect and work. We supply all this stuff pre-wired, pre-lugged. We do a lot of this stuff for installers. And these boards, you literally just stand the board up. And if you see the other video below, you can see how easy it is to get power going on one of these boards. Now, the next option, what we like to do on our quotes, is we give you options of batteries. Now, our favourite battery is the Power Plus battery. They're Australian-made. Not only that they're Australian-made, they're one of the best companies that we've ever had to deal with. I can tell you some stories out there that are horror stories of products that have just failed over the years from bad manufacturing and things like that, and the company's just going out of business, not supporting us or supporting our customers, and it's pretty sad. I love about Power Plus, they... Just honour their warranties, they sort things out, they're a really good company to deal with. So with the Power Plus batteries, what I love about them, besides that they're a really good quality product, as a business to deal with, they're amazing to deal with. A lot of other manufacturers want to argue, whinge and moan, who's paying for what and that sort of stuff. We've had one warranty issue in four years of dealing with Power Plus, and I think at the end of that, it actually was a customer issue, but we'll keep that a secret, hey? <laughs> they're a really good company to deal with. So we always give options of batteries, though. It's important to look through the warranty and really understand the documents and what you're up for a warranty. A lot of this stuff here doesn't actually cover the cost of freight. If you buy a system from someone, most of the time it doesn't cover any cost or travel or anything to fix the warranty and stuff like that. Sometimes on-site warranty is covered, but it's really important that you read the warranty and you understand all the warranty documents before you purchase something. It's really important to understand. So, Cool, so that's basically it, guys. A bit of a recap. 
So when you're looking down through a quote, you get panels, racking, inverters, all the circuitry monitoring and some battery choices. Now it's really important that when you do, are buying a solar system, I'd highly recommend get them to give you some choices. I'd say get a couple of different solar panel choices, a couple of different inverter choices, a couple of battery choices. The reality is spend an extra two or three thousand dollars on a system can give you so much more up front. And if you're not aware of those extra choices, that extra cost of spending of how much better of a solar system you get, you'll regret it later on because later on to add that extra two or three thousand dollars could cost you five to ten thousand dollars to add those same components in the future. So I'd highly recommend ask the company that you're buying from and hey, hopefully it's us, but if not, whoever's designed your system and buying a system from, ask them what's going to cost me to upgrade a few things at the biggest, best system that you can afford for your budget. Thanks guys and have a great day.